Welcome to my PlaySeat Sensation Pro. I've had it for about, oh, it must be about six, seven months. I'm in my new place, so I figured now's the time to review it, tell you how it's been this whole time. Uh, I got this one because I can, I guess it's more heavy duty and I can mount a TV to it. But one of the things that I realized was that this TV is a little bit too big and too close sometimes. So PlaySeat did send another stand over for me to set up, unbox, and install this monitor onto. So I'm going to do that after I talk more about this seat. And uh, Placey did send me this seat and the wheel setup. It's the Thrustmaster TGT, which is perfect because all I do is play Gran Turismo Sport. I don't really like any other sim racing games. So that's why I wanted the one that is like the competition spec wheel and pedals. Because I don't like to tinker. That's why I like this more than I like the Fanatec that I did use for a bit. So the Sensation Pro right now on the PlaySeat store is 1899 US and it makes sense because this is big and sturdy. Like it feels really solid even with a lot of torque coming from one of these wheels or that other Fanatic wheel. Nothing is flexing, nothing's moving around. And it's also a huge step up from the Evolution that we had which was 369 US dollars which I think was also really good but I don't know if it could handle as much torque as this is putting out. And then this is like a much lower seat and look, we can slide back. And then there's some stuff in the seat here where we can move it up, down. We can pivot this right here. And having this TV built in is pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, I got a monitor a little too big so I did want to test out a stand. And then also when I'm in my basement, I can have it set up so I could pull the chair away from the TV and then use the TV for other gaming, which is gonna be cool. But one thing that I do do is I add a cushion so I sit up a little bit higher because I do feel like I kind of sink into this seat a lot. And this does have this big headrest thing right around the driver, which I'm not the most stoked on. But once I got in it, it didn't really bother me. And sorry about all the close-ups where there's crumbs from chips and cookies. I do snack while I play my games in my GT Sport simulator. And then another thing I really like about this seat is that I can tuck the remote to this TV that I only use for GT Sport right next to the steering wheel and it pretty much stays there. And if you look at my wiring from the pedals, I have everything taped up so that my rabbit doesn't chew on it because he will chew on anything he can get his hands on. Now the only thing that was a little bit of an issue was I needed to get this 120 volt to 230 volt converter to power the Thrustmaster wheel because I think there was a Euro spec that we got shipped, which was no big deal. Once I got that set up, it was like, Perfect, perfect, perfect. And lastly, before I start setting up the monitor, we do have these little holes right here so that you can mount this bracket for a really solid gear shifter, but I'm not gonna take sim racing too seriously. Never gonna use my clutch pedal. So I'm just gonna use the paddles and I don't need it. But it is nice that it came with it. So time to unbox the monitor stand and uh, push this thing back a little bit or maybe even closer, who knows? Pretty heavy duty. It's got some rubber stuff on the bottom, so it's not gonna scratch your floors. Okay, pretty cool. We've got some little latches on the inside, so I guess this is toolless. I guess let's set it up and just bolt the TV to it. So last time we left off, I had to get that TV onto that TV stand but this is obviously different than what's on there. And this is what used to be on the old TV stand. So if I look here, this is actually a VESA 100 by 100. And I needed a 100 to 200 by 300 converter. See, 200 by 300. But I accidentally bought a 200 by 200 converter from Amazon. So I'm actually going to just install this on the top part and just go 200 right here just to get this video done. And when I get the 200 by 300, I'll film that and show you how that goes. So I'm going to mount this to the TV first and then mount this once it's ready. I got a bath mat to launch it onto. Perfect. I'll just attach this real quick. I got that newborn I gotta keep an eye on. So I don't have time for all these videos anymore. 
Okay, now I gotta get some tools for this stuff here. Hardware is ready. So I'll put this stuff right here and hope for the best when it's go time. Okay, take one hand off and hand tighten both. And yeah, that's definitely, you know, a little wobbly. This isn't connected, but it's not gonna be attached to the rig, so it's not gonna vibrate. So let me just remove these and glue it together. Not actually glue it. I've installed this uh, adjustable pivoting mount, so now I can line that up to 300 that way, 200 that way, and now it's rock solid. So remove these two. And now I've got my seat and my monitor stand, so uh, I'll just, I guess, move them together. Let's end it off. So the TV would have been right here. And now if I want to make it go a little farther, I can either move myself back or move the TV forward and then I'll have the perfect angle. Lower it just a little bit. Tighten it up. Toolless, that's nice. Much better, much better. So much more flexibility. And then if I wanna watch TV or something, I'll play video games, instead of having to sit here and look like that, I can just pull this out and then I've got a nice, TV stand. Ugh. And last but not least, Placey knows we're from Toronto and we're Raptors fans and since we won two years ago, uh, they sent us the active gaming seat, which will be great for gaming in front of this. If I want to move that seat and just play some PlayStation 5 or something when I get it in my man cave because juggling stuff around with a bunch of seats and stuff is kind of tricky. So let's set this up. Smoke resistant or fire resistant, dart resistant. So pretty straightforward color coded instructions. Red, uh, blue, blue. Now I got a gaming chair, which is like pretty good for just moving this around and playing wherever I want to. I think we have a slot right here for your phone and then a slot right up here for the controller. So yeah, 10 out of 10 play seat setup. I really like this TV stand from play seat. It makes it a lot easier to adjust to this Sensation Pro, which has been very solid. Also love this TGT, yeah, this has been Really good. And then I love this active gaming chair, especially that it's Raptors themed. This is gonna make it really easy for when I move this out of the way and I wanna play up here, or if I wanna play. 
upstairs where all the baby stuff is and not like have to bring a whole recliner or something to play games. So yeah, remember I got all this stuff for free from PlaySeat, but I have really been enjoying it. So definitely check out PlaySeat store to uh, maybe get some of the stuff for yourself. Also follow me on the straight pipes for car reviews and also do a whole bunch of gear reviews on this channel and tech stuff and baby stuff and home stuff. So thanks for subscribing and watching this video.